Okay, here I have a 5R55E, and the way to identify a 5R from a 4R is the output speed sensor at the rear. Uh, they added that uh, output speed sensor, uh, and that makes it a 5-speed. Everything internally is the same as the 4R, exactly the same. Valve bodies are interchangeable. Uh, the only difference is that the computer uh, fires the solenoid differently. And this unit here, uh, we had a P0733, which is a gear ratio error in third gear. And uh, this is our third gear band. It's not too bad. You can see just a little bit of uh, black there. It, it had no second gear. And here we see the uh, second gear band is a little bit burned. Now, it is very common that the valve body gasket uh, tears and uh, here we see this is very normal the valve body gets loose and uh, it starts flexing actually the aluminum here it starts flexing and uh, it starts ripping on that gasket so here we have a very common problem of valve body gasket torn and you can see here it's, it has a, another torn here and it was also slipping in reverse and here we see that on the uh, low reverse uh, servo or the for where which applies the low reverse band uh, is ripped as well. We see the band here, and on the apply uh, here, it's not as worn out as you sometimes will see it. Now this transmission would take off in first gear. It had no second, and it would flare in third, and uh, it would jump into fourth gear. So here we have our uh, direct frictions, and you can see that the frictions are. Uh, heated up they're stressed and we can see one of the steel plates that it has uh, heat marks on it here we have one heat mark has some heat marks on it so it was actually jumping from first sometimes from first all the way to fourth uh, which on this particular unit this is fourth gear and on the four speed this is third gear now uh, the difference between the five speed and the four speed uh, the extra gear is in between first and second. Uh, like some other Chrysler units, this is a Ford unit. Uh, some Chrysler units like to call it second prime, where they put a, a, a gear in between uh, two shifts. So here you have, uh, instead of uh, taking off in, uh, four speed will take off in first, which is the forward drum, which is this. Take off in first, shift into second gear, and on the uh, four speed, second gear would be applied on this band, and then third gear would have been this drum here, and then overdrive would have been uh, the front band. On the five speed, on the other hand, is different. It takes off in first gear here, and then it applies the uh, overdrive band to make the uh, uh, low gear ratio second. We releases the band and it goes to third gear, which is the uh, intermediate band. And from third gear uh, on the five speed, then it goes to the direct frictions, which is uh, fourth gear. And then it reapplies the uh, overdrive band for fifth gear. And on the four speed and the five speed, the gear ratio for overdrive and, and uh, fifth gear uh, is exactly the same. As you can see, it, it just fires the solenoids differently and it applies the uh, overdrive band in between first and second to make a second second gear shift and uh, that's how you get the five speed out of this unit okay so uh, I know there's there's some people say that you just replace that gasket and you're good to go but you're not because you can see that the band is burnt and you see that the uh, direct frictions are burnt and of course I mean you need, re you need to replace all the rubber here are the uh, servos, they're still a little soft, but they're kind of getting hard. This is the overdrive servo, and this is the intermediate uh, servo. And uh, you can identify the sizes by the lettering. This is uh, A, B, and this will be a Z, C, or Zebra Charlie, or, and Alpha Bravo. Now, another thing that, uh, when I was tearing this unit down, the sprag is worn out. As you can see, the cap is, is on the planet itself. I had uh, trouble get sliding this thing out. This should just slide out. And the reason why it didn't want to come out is because the race is worn out. 
and uh, it has like a little lip so it was getting stuck right here so this race being worn out was going to happen if I if I reuse this planet unfortunately the race for the sprag is the planet itself so the whole planet has to be replaced if you were to reuse this planet and this sprag you will have a no movement condition uh, the sprag will actually flip the other way around and it would rotate both ways so with that being said don't just replace your valve body gasket I mean you can do that you know to get another couple of miles out of it you know not too many miles you're gonna get out of it but if that if you have that issue you're gonna have that issue you're gonna have that issue and uh, basically this transmission is worn out it's a 2000 model uh, Ford Explorer uh, 5R 55E. It's a real wheel drive. It's not a 4 4x4 four, four four, or 4. Uh, uh, it's a re regular rear wheel drive. So there you have it. 5R 55E with uh, no second gear. I did not have a code for second gear. Uh, it was flaring in third and sometimes it had no third uh, with the P0733.